What's up legends, LGG Alden here. Today I am back with episode 17 of my Game Maker Studios top down game tutorial. Last time we worked on making it so when you pick up a weapon, it drops the one you were currently holding before. And we worked on doors, so just so you can open and close them, kind of basic, but a beginner kind of door. So this time what I want to work on is almost like CPUs. Not necessarily crazy advanced yet, like a basic CPU. For instance, we'll just work on one type for now. We'll make one that will follow you. Like maybe we can make, actually, maybe just, well, we'll make it so, I don't know if we'll make it so he automatically follows you or if you can tell him to follow you, we'll figure it out. But, and then we can make it so he attacks the enemies. I don't know how far we'll get with this. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is create the sprite for the CPU. So we'll just create a group, we'll name it CPU, and then we'll create a sprite. Eventually we can add different types of CPUs and different models and styles and sprites for them. So we'll just do CPU one. Oh, that's his cup. CPU one and then so let's add it actually we gotta make it the same size as the player I believe the player is 32 no it's 64 okay here we go so 64 by 64 actually better yet don't waste you don't have to waste your time since it's uh, practically going to be the same thing we're just gonna duplicate it so SPR CPU one. Oh wait, make that an underscore. Okay, so edit the sprite. So we'll just do since the player's blue or whatever. We'll just do like a. What color should we make him? Um, we'll make him purple for now. And that'll be fine. Okay, so we got that. So now we need to go into the objects and we will create a group. It will be CPU. Okay, so create object, obj underscore cpu underscore, and then we'll do, um, what should we name this one? We'll name it fighter. So it'll fight, like it'll fight the enemies and all that for you, or help you out more like. Okay, so give them the sprite. So add a create event. Now, the way it is, we're not going to make it so they have a health and so that they can die right away. We'll get probably into a little more advanced tactics for these guys eventually. Probably not right now, maybe in the next couple episodes. So to start it off, we're just going to do SPD, so the speed. Um, let's actually look at what the player speed is, just so he's about same. Um, player speed, oh wait, we have a global variable for that stuff. That would be in the menu game setup let's see what is it speed is five okay that's kind of what I was thinking so five is the speed now let's see so what we could do is we can set his damage and we will do the same damage for a pistol so where would that be um where do we have the oh guns right there so pistol sets the damage to one Okay, so damage equals one, uh, fire rate equals eight, so that should be fine. Okay, and then, let me think. We're gonna need some sort of a counting system just so that when he fires. So fire rate will be one of the variables, and then you need count, set it equal to zero. What else do we need? Uh, can shoot equals oh wait true now we'll set this aside so then we're gonna need a I believe a step event should do the job so I had the step event so what we're gonna do is we will make it so he moves he follows the player but it'll only be if they're in a certain distance so if object underscore is it nearby? How is it? Let me look through the code quickly, see what we can use. Um, 
actually I believe we have that in the enemy code so we'll just copy it from there so I believe it's if oh it's distance to object and then we do object player okay so if distance underscore to object obj underscore player is less than or equal to and we'll do about 200 and then okay so if the object to there is the same so then it will do um, move underscore towards point and then we'll do obj player dot x obj underscore player dot y and we'll do spd for the speed and that should work fine and then now for the shooting okay so if um what is it let me think how do we do this if can shoot equals true and we'll also do a distance to object thing again so how do we want to do this distance to object obj enemy so if the distance to the enemy oh wait we need an and statement whoops so can shoot and if the distance to the enemy is less than or equal to 200 then it will fire a bullet but what we need it to do is actually let's see there might this might not be harder than we need to make it so like for this I believe is it, is it clicking to shoot right okay instance bullet X Y can fire okay so here's where we need let's look at the bullets so what's the code for the bullet create direction okay so it equals the player angle okay so we need to create a step event except the image angle will equal if it's if the uh, actually um, how do I want to do this see this is a little more complicated than I was hoping it would be or then I no a little more complicated than I want it to be so enemy dot y dot X okay so we're actually gonna copy this you can get rid of the shooting part and then okay so we need to create a custom bullet now we're gonna duplicate this we're gonna name it obj CPU bullet okay so for the CPU bullet create speed equals okay that's fine because it's got to be always the same speed for a pistol instance destroy okay so direction needs to equal obj cpu1 underscore image angle that should be fine and then the image angle yeah so for this so we can get rid of this line of code here so then okay so bat wait we gotta look at the create event get the variables just so we know okay so if it shoots instance underscore create and then we'll do x y obj underscore cpu bullet okay and also then we need to set can shoot equal to false and then if can shoot equals false then we need to do count plus plus if count is greater than or equal to fire rate then it needs to let's see um it needs to do count equals zero can shoot equals true actually I think that's good so that's it the enemies nearby it'll shoot a bullet in that direction towards the enemy so it'll look at the enemy and then it'll shoot if the enemy is nearby to the player and if the player if it's near the player then it'll move towards it oh wait we need to place it out whoops okay um close out of it when it opens quickly okay so 
go into rooms, test. So we're gonna add one of them. We'll go CPU. Now we'll try this out. We'll add it over here. I don't know how well this is gonna work. We're gonna try it out. Hopefully we don't get really any issues or nothing. Okay, well we're off to a good start. Okay. So he follows me. I should probably make him a little bit slower. Oh, CPU one dot image angle. Variable get obj underscore CPU one. Oh guys, that's where I messed up. I'm sorry guys. Okay, here's where we're gonna fix that. So go back into the CPU bullet. Now I really should have looked at this. Why isn't it lighting up? That's because we needed the fighter key word. It's CPU underscore fighter. I named that completely wrong. I was looking at this. I was using the sprite name. Okay, so let's retry that. That should be better. Hopefully it fixes it. Okay. So now he looks. Oh, see, it's looking at a different one. Okay, no, that's where we need. Um, we need to change one thing, guys. So let's go into here, step event. Now how do we have it? There was something that I swear did it. That we already had. Wait, whoops. Um, we need whatever it is to look at the nearest. It's like the nearest object or nearest. Hmm. Image angle, point direction nearest underscore oh shoot hot I'm trying to think of the code here guys distance underscore hmm let me try and figure this out okay guys so I believe this is the code instance nearest XY object enemy dot X and instance nearest XY object enemy dot Y that should do it we'll run it try it out Hopefully this works. It'll find the nearest enemy now. Or at least the nearest to, I believe it'll do the X and Y of the CPU. So now, yeah, so now it shoots at him. But then if this one's closer, it'll shoot at him. So that works good. That's pretty good. Okay, but now we need to actually make it so the bullets hurt the enemies. So, or well, the enemy. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to duplicate event. Now it's going to be a collision with bullets and then CPU bullet. Do we need to change global.p damage? Oh, we should change that. Uh, global, or no, object underscore CPU fighter dot DMG. Just to be on the safe side. So it does whatever the damage of that is. So let's see if this will actually destroy him now. It should. Play. Start it up. And then we might actually alter the speed, which we don't really need to like test it to see if it works because we know it should. Okay, so yeah, that works. He shoots it. Do they always drop something? No, I guess not. Okay, so that works fine. Look at that, now we got a sniper. Um, let's try to, let's change a couple variables and then we don't need to really worry about too much. We will make the equal to 16. We'll double the fire rate just to be on the safe side. Damage is still one. Actually make it more like 12. Speed, make it global dot P speed minus one, which would be good. That should work fine. We don't want it to be crazy fast. Like, we, well, you don't want it to be as fast as you. Because then he could, like, get on you or get in your way. Like, stuff like that. And the only other thing I can think of at the moment, which I will have to change, is this. You can walk right through walls. So we need to worry about that. So let's see. That's a little bit of a better pace, I would think. Still a little fast, but he only does one damage, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, he shoots decent speed. 
But that should actually work fine, guys. I think we should be good to go. Like I said, eventually we will work on making him a little better, making the CPU, um, the fighter CPU a little bit easier to work with so that he doesn't go through walls. Maybe so he, I don't know, whatever, whatever else we can think of, making it so he chases an enemy down or something, goes at them has ammo and has to reload takes time to reload anything like that we could think of a lot of stuff and making him just smarter in general and maybe even having the same ai code that he the player or the enemies use to find you so that if you're nearby he will come to you anything like that so he doesn't go right on you all that stuff we will work on probably in an upcoming tutorial i don't know what episode yet guys but look forward to that so it'll just be the advanced and uh cpu ai but, oh, oh, we should also fix that eventually. Come back. Oh, he's back. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Um, we really appreciate it. But if there's anything you guys have that didn't work with the CPU, comment that, guys, and I will help you as best as I can and do whatever I can to get it working so you guys are back on track. But anything you guys want to see, comment that. I will read it. I will see it. And hopefully I can do it for you guys because I like taking suggestions because sometimes it's hard to come up with ideas. Thanks, guys, for watching, though. Remember to be a legend, and I will see you all next time.